Okay. This will be an interesting one. Whoops. Uh, let's see. I'm going to call it that. Not that it really matters. So what are going to make this one? This will be a copied paper. This one's going to be enlarged. I nearly forgot. So we're going to make this one big. So I think 400 or close enough to it. I'm wondering if we should just get out of that. Maybe just put it on A4. We're not copying the whole original. And now we've just got to go here and reverse it. Background colour. What shall we give it? Gonna make it brown. Alright. Gonna cool it down, different for a change. Oops. Okay, let's see what this one is. Right, it is. It is a brochure of some traveling brochure or not brochure captain cook cruises flyer or or leaflet what do you want to call it i don't even know what the different terms are anyway for flyer leaflet pamphlet whatever let's see how this one goes let's see if 400 percent is the size for it Okay, let's see if we've made it the right size to fit the page, pretty much. Okay, Captain Cook. It's, yeah, that looks interesting. I'm wondering if maybe, yeah, we're, the only thing we don't have is the Opera House. But still, it looks nice. I'm wondering if I could change the colour to something a little bit more interesting than blue. I wonder if I'll do that or whether that's going to be a fuck up. Because I hate it when I try to improve on something and it doesn't improve so I'm just wondering if maybe I'm trying to think what we're going to do with this I'm going to add add some blue but we're not going to add much because it'll just overwhelm the whole thing and the hue I'm going to warm it up instead of cool it down and I think Think that should do it let's see if we can get a better result or something equal I just figured the blue would look good I'm sort of a bit bored of the, of the um, brown even though the brown goes well with most things we don't want to get too caught in a rut so to speak and I do feel I have been caught too much in a rut so basically let's see how this one's come out right well this looks interesting yeah, it's still, I like it in a way, but the faces have lost their distinctiveness. At least the face, facial features there are more prominent, whereas here they're sort of, how should I put it, blended out. I'm wondering if we're going to call it, we're going to do another one, see if we can do another one that might look a bit better. I don't know, it's a tough one. <laughs> it's not an easy one, so... We're just going to get a bit experimental here and we're just going to see what we can utilise here to make it look better. So I'm wondering if, I'm wondering if we can do red or maybe magenta. Magenta could be a goer. And we've got the magenta up full. So we're just going to go red. 
because magenta is a warm colour like red. So I wonder if we're going all the way with red. Let's see if this will work. Let's see if we can make it even better. It's not easy <laughs> getting a good colour scheme. I mean, at least the brown is predictable pretty much. And the brown sort of, you can see the facial features come out. There's the blue just blends in with the green. And it's just a real pain. So I just think I, it's a bit of a punt. <laughs> it's like that. But if, if I make errors and that, that just makes my demos more genuine. Can't get it right every time. But anyway, that looks quite nice actually. Still lost the, in some ways the facial features, but I do like that result. I think better than the other two. It's different. Gotta go.